Hello good people and welcome to Finance Skills Hub. Here we learn, we connect and we grow. In this short video, we are going to learn how to assign ranks or positions to values or numbers. This is especially useful for teachers who want to rank or assign positions to student marks. We throw in a very special thing to make it easy to rank even if the students are in different classes. So even if you are not a teacher, you can still watch this and pick some useful tips and tricks. Let's head to Excel and see how to get this done. So here I have my student data class total score position and later we'll learn how to rank even if the students are in different classes as we have them here. So for starters, let's attempt to rank only class 1. Now the function to rank in Excel is rank so the default here is this rank you take the value so here is 82 and I'm going to compare this 82 with the score the scores in class 1 so I will select the scores in class 1 now because I'll be copying this down I need to make sure d3 d14 this red reference is fixed while the blue d3 is allowed to move as I copy down so I'll lock it pressing F4. Okay, so I get this absolute reference. Now I bring my comma and I have the option to choose the order of my ranking. Descending is when you want to rank the highest score as number one and vice versa is ascending. So we'll choose descending. We want the highest score to be number one. And then I close this bracket. Okay, so when I hit enter, 82 is in the sixth position and i can just highlight up to the last score here Control d to copy down you observe that 98 comes in first here followed by 96. okay so that's the default the challenge though is that if i want to do for other classes i'll have to do a start and stop start and stop and we hope to cure that using the sum product it works like a rank if but we don't have a rank if function in Excel at the moment. So we are going to do a workaround using the sum product function. Now we'll start with equal to sum product. And then once we bring our first bracket, we introduce a second bracket to evaluate our first range of numbers. So we select the score here for class one for this purpose. And we are going to ask this question that for this range that I have selected, let me F4 this. Okay, how many of these numbers is greater than this first one? Okay, so example, if this is the highest score, there isn't any number that is greater than this, assuming. Okay, so it will return zero. And when it returns zero, I will add plus one to it. And that will give me number one. Now, with this argument, I would have to activate the Boolean logic by putting a double minus okay so this is going to give us the same as our rank if i copy this down you observe that 98.50 is still first here now we want to make it easy to copy this down so that when it gets to class 2 it will switch and start ranking for only class 2 so to do that in the sum product argument we'll introduce a criteria that would just make it rank class one so to do that we'll go into the sum product and then introduce another argument now that argument says that if i highlight the whole of the class one range okay it should only let me just lock this f4 so this is locked so we are only interested in cases where this is equal to just this class okay so the range should be equal to just this class but this is going to be relative while this is fixed and then i'll close my brackets okay so now instead of this double minus i'm going to put in a multiplication okay it works the same way so that's the only thing we are introducing here. The first argument still holds plus one. This is just the criteria. You need to make sure the height of the range is the same. So this is C3 to C33. 
I need to make this D3 to D33. So I'll just manually drag this up to this and we are good. So this is our final formula that check if this class is equal to what I currently have class 1 and then check how many scores are greater than this one and add one to it. So let's see what it gives us. So it just gives me 6 and as I copy it down I can extend this all the way to the last class control D. So let's see what we have here. In class 1 this is first 98.50. When I get to class 2 you realize that I have a different first position. Another 98.50 is here which is first. Okay when I get to class 3 99 is first. They are tied here. Okay so 99 99 and then it jumps to the next one which is 95.67. Okay, so it's a very easy way to do the ranking especially when you have a long list of students in different classes. As usual please practice and add it to your list of excel tricks. You can receive these videos directly on your phone. Send add to this whatsapp number. We send them to you directly twice a week or you can visit our youtube channel finest skills up all our old videos are here please subscribe when you visit our channel or connect with us on any of these social media handles thank you so much for watching <laughs>